I can't wait to start rehearsals for Bastionbury. Dad, I finished the clown thing I've been working on. Excellent, Robidium. And you've got mail. Dear Ruby, due to your scientific excellence, we hereby invite you to attend the Summer Science Adventure School for Super Brains, a residential tech camp at a top secret location. Wow. My daughter's been brain hunted. I'm so proud. Thanks, Dad. Ooh. <laughs> what? You leave tomorrow? But you'll miss Bastonbury. And I've written you a 10 minute keyboard solo. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis, I'd totally love to be there, but this could be a really great opportunity. So could Bashto. You're not seriously thinking of ditching it, are you? Oh. Think what other amazing discoveries you'll make at that science school. Ooh. I'm going to pack. Why does it only have painted on windows? The school's top secret. I guess even the pupils on the bus aren't allowed to see where it is. Oh, impressive! My daughter could even become Britain's first clever Prime Minister! Excuse me, can I put Paul's name down for next year's camp? He's even smarter than me! Oh, please, can we hurry up? We'll be late! Walter, Bertie, what are they doing here? Well, I'm a genius and uh, uh, Bertie's here to carry my bags! Oh. Up, 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 up! No communication devices allowed! Robes, are you sure you want to go? I think something fishy is going on. Oh, Dennis, I wish you could just be happy for me. I... See you after the holidays. Oh, oh dear. I seem to have some sort of weak salt solution in my eye. Hey, doesn't that driver work for Walter's dad? Bye. Dennis. What? Does no one else think this is weird? Come on, Nasha. What kind of bus takes clouds to school? I don't know. What kind of bus takes clouds to school? A cumulo nimbus! <laughs> What's that, boy? Nice one! A shortcut! <laughs> Nasha, follow that burger! 16 times 3 is 48. Oh, this mess is so easy, it's boring. Oh, Mrs. Creature! Pieface is cheating! He's got some sort of transmitter in his potato. He hasn't, Walter. But, but I heard it giving him the answers. Potatoes can't talk, Walter. I've been trying to teach Peter that for years. Well, actually... <laughs> does that ball of paper mean I should stop talking, Dennis? I didn't throw any paper at Pieface, but if I did, it would mean stop talking, yes. <sighs> Two times 24 is 48. <sighs> Pie face, just go with the plan you had. You can do it. That went brilliantly. You see? I told you my plan would work. Oh, no. Your plan didn't. The potato professor fell asleep halfway through the test. What? I couldn't help it. Oh, the test was so easy. I got bored. Also, carbohydrates make me drowsy, and I am now super carby. What do you get if you cross an aeroplane with a magician? I don't know. What do you get if you cross an aeroplane with a magician? A flying sorcerer! One move and the potato gets it! I know you got this potato to tell you the answers. And I'm going to find out how. Ah! <laughs> Hands off that spot! <laughs> ah! Dad! Dad? Oh, good 
doggy. Now please retract your fangs from the nice professor's brain. Where's the spot, Father? Now, if I was a potato who'd been given the body of a middle-aged Nobel Prize-winning scientist, I'd go to... I'd know where he might be. Beano Land theme park. We'll start with the Big Dipper. I can't believe I'm asking this, but where do you think your potato would go if it grew legs? <laughs> Don't worry, Paul. The nice brain swap machine will get you out of this smelly old professor's body. My dad is not smelly. He is a bit smelly, eating all that soil. <gasps> a brain swap machine? So, Pieface was cheating. Bertie, call Sergeant Slipper. We'll get Pieface expelled, break up Dennis's gang, confiscate the machine and use it ourselves to become billionaires! <laughs> Whoa! I lost these bad boys ages ago, which isn't like me. I never lose stuff, right, Nash? Where's Nasha? <laughs> what? Nasha! <gasps> that looked like a Nashosaurus Rex! Even if we are somehow, against all logic, in a lost world, that could not have been a Nash assault! Oh. What do Triceratops sit on? I don't know. What do Triceratops sit on? The Triceratops! <laughs> Did you really just say, oh, a, a massive killer dinosaur? Look how it's looking at Nasha. There's a proper special bond there. Pieface, that's the biggest load of genius you've ever said. It doesn't want to eat Nasha. It's put him in that empty nest where its egg should be. What? So it's taken my dog to replace an egg that it's somehow lost? Stands to reason you lose things you wouldn't usually lose when you're in a lost world. That doesn't stand to any reason. Now we need to be very respectful of the nest and not do anything daft. Wait, where's Dennis? Ah! No, Paul! Sorry, Ruby. What were you saying about not doing anything daft? Who knows what we should do? I admit, you were right about the lost world, but don't push it, Pie Face. I am not trusting a potato to stop us being eaten by a dinosaur. He says we should go this way. I take it all back. Respect to the Spud Nav. How do we save Nasha from that thing? G-Rexes were ferociously devoted parents, so it won't give Nasha up till it gets its egg back. So we've got to find the egg. But how? Well, when something gets lost in a lost world, it gets double lost. We all know that. So we need to get double lost too, obviously. Interesting use of obviously. No, hear him out. Seems like actual logic doesn't work today, so logically, pie-face logic might. It's pretty simple, really. The lost G-Rex has lost its egg, meaning the egg is double lost and two lost make an unlost. I'm getting a headache. So to get to wherever the unlost egg has ended up, we just have to get unlost too. We just close our eyes, spin around and walk off until we know where we are again. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll find that dino egg and come straight back to save you. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Here he comes, folks. From filthy fleabag to fledgling film star, Grizzly's new sidekick... Stop! <coughs> this is a serious film about a man and his dog fighting peace-shooting bandits and giant snakes! Absolutely nothing for you kids to see here. Move along. It'll be fine. Huh? I'm so proud of you, Nasha. Go on, go out there and be a movie star. <laughs> Take one. Action! What the... Hey! Yeah! And cut! Yeah! <laughs> I'm here on the 
the brown carpet, formerly red, they really need to wash this thing for the teaser trailer premiere of Grizzly's forthcoming film, starring mangy Matt and movie megastar Nasha. And the guy behind the dog, Nasha's best mate in the whole entire universe, Grizzly Gorilla. That's right, Anne. How are you? Me and Nasho are total besties. Nasho? Come on, Nasho. Sausage flavoured popcorn is on me. Sorry, Dennis. No, no, buddies. In a world filled with danger and gravelly voices comes a new breed of hero an Abyssinian wirehead tripound. Coming soon, Grizzly and Nasher in Grizzly and Nasher Go Wild. Yes, folks, he's stolen sausages and now he's stealing the show. <laughs> Where does a woodworm go to become a movie star? I don't know. Where does a woodworm go to become a movie star? Holy wood! <laughs> Fantastic performance, Nasha! You were a maze beans! High poor! <laughs> Not fun chat, Nasho! After party at my luxury log cabin! Let's roll! See you, Nasha! Enjoy the <coughs> party! And, uh, catch you soon! Yeah? <laughs> <laughs>